Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at this 2022 Honda Accord Sport Special Edition. Huge shout out to Steve White Volkswagen for providing this vehicle for me today. Make sure you check out their website. They have a massive selection of pre-owned inventory. That link is down in the description. But the Accord that you see behind me is finished off in white and they have a starting MSRP right around $30,000. And to start off today's review, let's take a look at what powers this Accord. Underneath the hood is the 1.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. This is paired to the CVT transmission. It pumps out 192 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. That power is sent to the front wheels. This weighs in right around 3,200 pounds. It'll do zero to 60 in just over seven seconds with a top speed of 116 miles an hour. And it has a fuel capacity of 14.8 gallons you'll expect to see around 29 miles per gallon in the city and 32 out on the highway. This has a wheelbase of 111.4 inches. Its overall length is 196.1. It has a width of 73.3 and a height of 57.1 inches. As we move on to the exterior styling now for this Honda Accord, let's start off with the black chrome trim piece running just above the chrome Honda logo. So it goes from headlight to headlight and I really like how it's on the top of the actual headlight housing itself blends in very nicely and gives it a great accent. Now this Accord also has LED headlights, DRLs, turn signals, and LED fog lights, which are in the lower section of the bumper. But for this headlight housing, it's very sleek. It's sunken in a little bit, so you can see part of this indention, and there's even black trim above the white section of the bumper. But I love the multiple bar design running from left to right there for the headlights and the high beams. There's also plenty of cutouts in this grille to provide a lot of cooling to the engine. And I like the black trim pieces around the fog lights also protrude nicely on both sides just to break up that white. And the lower section of this bumper also sticks out just a little bit. So you can see that corner on each side just to give it more of that sporty design for the sedan. Now there's really nice lines that come down the hood. There's four, so two on each side, meeting that trim piece very nicely. And as we work our way to the side, this particular Accord has an aftermarket set of black wheels. These are 19 inches with a multi-spoke design, finished off in matte black, which is a great contrast against this white. Now the side mirrors are actually painted black, so I'm not sure if that's an aftermarket cap or the Sport comes with black mirrors, but it matches nicely with those wheels, along with the black shark fin antenna up on top. Now there's more of that brush trim surrounding the upper section of the windows. Great lines in the lower section of the door. It has a really nice side design to it with that sedan style to it. And I love the line that's just underneath these side view mirrors. It goes above the door handles all the way to the back. And then leading to the rear, this has a small trunk mounted spoiler finished off in gloss black. This has a backup camera. The dual exhaust is located down below. There's even more gloss black trim pieces in the lower section. And I like the design for these LED taillights. They have a nice housing to them. And then there's bodywork from the trunk right in the middle, just to split it off, give it more of that sporty appearance. So with the exterior wrapped up for this Honda Accord, let's make our way to the interior now. So I can use the button up underneath the Honda logo or just hold on this button on the key fob. Now this is not a power trunk, so it will just release. From there, you can open it up the rest of the way. For an everyday practical vehicle, this has a lot of trunk storage space. You can see the cutouts on the left side and the right side, so you can put an item sideways if you need to. And then the back seats also fold down. So all I need to do is pull this tab on each side, and then when you fold those down, obviously that gives us a lot more interior space for any items that you'd like to place in the back. And then from there, there's no grab handles on the trunk, but I can just grab the outside. It's very lightweight, so that is easy to close up. And now we can work our way to these back seats. So when I open up this door, the door panel has a nice design to it. There is some plastic in the upper section. However, there's leather on the armrest. There's the window control along with a little bit of storage. This does have an eight speaker audio sound system too. And then looking at these seats, they're finished off in leather with some silver stitching running down them. Gives it a nice touch. There's also more of the all weather floor mats. And now at five foot 10, I can work my way into these back seats where I have the front seat set at my height, I have plenty of room, very spacious for the back of this sedan. There's also some storage pockets behind both front seats. There are two USB-Cs right in the middle, a little bit more storage space, actually a pretty deep compartment. You could place items in there so they don't roll around. As far as headroom goes at five foot 10, I have maybe a half inch or so above my head, but I could be comfortable. I could slouch down just slightly here and be comfortable riding in this every single day. Now, right in the middle, if you don't have a middle passenger, there's the armrest along with two cup holders if you need to use them. 
And then as far as visibility goes, plenty of glass for your backseat passenger. So it feels very open in the back. And then as we make our way to the front seats now, the door panels finish off just like the rear. However, there's the addition of all the window controls, the side mirror adjustments, lock and unlock, even a nice trim piece just behind the release handle with more of that trim running just underneath that. Now you can pop the trunk from the driver door panel. There's a little bit more storage space down in the lower section of the door. And I forgot to mention earlier too that this model has a lot of window tint. So this is very dark, matching nicely with all the black. Now these front seats have a nice design to them. Very similar to the rear, of course. They are power adjusting, so all of those are down on the side. And then it's really easy to enter these front seats. The door sill is very low, so that makes it nice. And then looking at this steering wheel, it's completely covered in solid black leather. There's more of that brush trim to give it a nice accent. Over on this right side is all the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings, along with the lane keeping assist and the distance pacing. On this left side, there's Bluetooth and voice commands. There's also volume and tuning, as well as a home dial, the scrolling dial, and the back arrow, which you can use to go through that gauge cluster, which we'll come back to. This even has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, even though it is a CVT. So it'll be interesting to test those out once we get this out on the road. But let's fire this Accord up with my foot on the brake. That button is over on the right side and we can bring this to life. And looking at this gauge cluster on the right side is the miles per hour and the fuel gauge. The engine temperature is on the far left. And then on the left side of this gauge cluster is a digital screen for the tack as well as miles per hour and what gear you're in. There's the outside temperature too. But now we can use the home and scrolling dial to go through all this information that is available. So within that tack right now, currently you can see range along with your average fuel. If I click on the home dial, we can go down to speed and time. So you will see that change. We can also pull up the audio. It's pretty cool to see that graphic change. Depending on which icon you go into, there's also the phone, you can look at traffic, there's driving support, you have your driver attention. So if you've been driving this for a long period of time, it will tell you when it's time to pull over and take a break. You can monitor all of the seat belts, even look at your maintenance. So you have oil life that you can monitor. And then we have the navigation too. So you can pull up the compass here on the screen and then any warnings. So it's pretty cool to have all of that right at your fingertips. Very simple and straightforward to go through. Now, as we make our way to the left side, you'll see trip along with the dimmer switch for the gauges. There's also traction control. If I push on this button, this is for the road departure mitigation. So you can have that turned on or turned off just depending on what you'd like. There's also one air vent above that. As we make our way to the center now, this is the eight inch touchscreen system. There's quite a lot of information that you can go through. So currently you can see it's on music right now. If I click on home, you have phone settings. You can go into your messages, look at your trip information. You can even go to your clock. There's even the Honda link that you can monitor as well. You can go to all these apps here and scroll through just depending on what you need to see. You can easily and quickly get to it. There's a back arrow on the side even a dimmer so you can make that brighter or darker depending on the day and where the sun is. Over on the right side, there's the clock, phone, audio, and your source for your media. And then in the upper section, there's some shortcuts to your phone along with the radio too, so you can quickly get to those. Power and volume for the radio is on the left side. Tuning is on that right side. There are two air vents just underneath that along with hazards right in the middle. And then all the climates are nicely laid out. Fan speed is right in the middle. There's temperature dials on driver and passenger side for the dual zone. This even has heated seats. So those dials are on both sides. You have where you like the air to go, the defrosters, the heated mirrors too. So it's a nice layout to see. And then below that, if I push on this, it will open up to reveal a little bit of storage along with some auxiliaries. So you can charge electronics and have them nicely tucked up out of the way. Behind that, there are two cup holders on that right side. And then looking at the leather wrap shifter with the release on the front, all I need to do is pull on that. I can put it into reverse. You'll see the backup camera up here with the guidelines and then a few different angles, just depending on what visibility you need. If you're coming up to a curb or any item behind you, you have that top down view, which is nice to see. And then if I put this down into drive, that does allow you to use these steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. So you can use those as needed. Just behind that, there's a sport mode along with the economy mode. There's the engine start stop feature, which you can activate if you like to. The electronic parking brake is just behind that along with the brake hold. And then for the center armrest, it's finished off in leather. And there's a, even a removable tray. So if you need a little bit more storage, you can take that out. There's even an auxiliary down there so you can charge even more electronics. And then for the glove box, plenty of room for all that information. So you can place all of that there. 
We'll take another look at these seats, which have a nice design to them. Pretty simple, but it is very nice. And then up in the center, there is a sunglass holder, which is very convenient. And the dome lights are on each side. As we set off now in this 22 Honda Accord, this is actually the first time I've been in an Accord. So it's pretty cool to check this out. It's also cool to check out that the previous owner did all the window tint and did these wheels. Now, obviously that is a personal preference. I will say though, that window tint is definitely a huge must really for any car, that's a whole separate video. But as far as driving this Accord right now, it is pretty simple on the inside. You know, there's not too many luxuries or bells and whistles, I'll say, but I do like that it does have a lot of the Honda Sense technology. As I just veered a little bit onto the lane, it did have the lane keeping assist or the lane departure, which is currently on. It has all the sensors, all the pedestrian sensing, all of that standard technology feature features are standard, which is awesome to see. So right now we're in fourth gear for the CBT. We can go down to third gear as we come up to this sharp left turn. Now this is not a performance oriented sedan by any means, but brakes do a good job for driving normal, taking that turn as you would in a normal sedan. And as we come up to a stoplight now, as far as visibility goes, it's very, very open. I can easily see over this left shoulder. The pillars in the back are not all that bulky either. So it gives you that good 360 view along with having that backup camera. And we'll give it another quick acceleration just in normal mode. It's got some pep to that turbo. So I don't think it's too underpowered. You can go with the larger engine if you want to, but I don't see any problems with this getting up, merging onto the highway, certain traffic situations like that. And you're also going to get a lot better MPG, around 32 is what is stated from Honda out on the highway. Obviously that is going to differ depending on your driving style and uh, where you're driving. But aside from that, it's a really nice everyday family sedan. You have plenty of room in the back seats, plenty of room in that trunk space too. And it's nice, it's very comfortable and quiet. It doesn't feel like it's a cheap vehicle by any means. For the $30,000 price point, it feels like a pretty solid car. And now as we switch over to the POV angle for this Accord, you can see what it's like to be behind the wheel. And I'm going to use these paddle shifters now. We'll give it a nice moderate acceleration. And we are up to speed. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not a performance oriented vehicle, but even with a small acceleration, there's plenty more to this than I just did for that acceleration. So you could easily get up to the cruising speed that you need to. And it is a nice place to be. It's very comfortable. Hondas are extremely reliable vehicles. And from what I've seen, people usually tend to hold on to them for quite some time. This is a vehicle that you could own for 10 or more years. I currently have a Honda CRV in my garage and it is almost 10 years old, coming in around 93,000 miles on it. It's still very reliable, very easy to maintain too. And that's what I think people love about these Hondas is they're reliable, cheap, relatively cheap to maintain. As long as you do take care of them and do the routine maintenance, you can rack up a ton of miles on this car and be satisfied with what it has to offer without having to upgrade for newer technology. Now, like I said earlier, visibility over that left side is great. Visibility over that right side equally as good. And now if I get it into second gear, one last acceleration. I will say these paddles are pretty responsive for it being a CVT and not really having gears. As soon as I hit them, you'll see the tack drop up or down so it's it's pretty impressive if you want to use these if you need a little bit more throttle response a little bit more power if you're passing or some situation like that they are functional and there and it's not a loud vehicle obviously you can hear some of the engine noise there but that is going to wrap it up for this walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of this 2022 honda accord sport special edition once again, huge shout out to Steve White Volkswagen for providing this vehicle for me today. Again, check out their website. They have a massive selection of inventory to choose from. That link is down in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a huge thumbs up. Consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.